Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. This is our first tutorial of this series Python for Data Science. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to set up Google Collaboratory to write the codes to do the hands-on session what I will be teaching to you. So basically in this tutorial, I will be teaching you what a Google Collaboratory looks like, how to write code in Google Collaboratory and first of all, how to set up. So first of all, open any uh, of your favorite uh, web browser and search for Google Collab. And now open to welcome to Google Collaboratory. When you click on that link, a window like this will be popped up. Now you have to just click on new Python 3 notebook. I'm clicking here and your Google Collaboratory will be open. And this is what a Google Collab is look like. First of all, you have to re rename this file. I'm renaming this Google Collab. So this is what a Google Collab look like. Here you can upload any Jupyter notebook, open any Jupyter notebook and the most important you can download your notebook and in both form in notebook form or in python document form so first of all after renaming this file i am going to uh, tell you about what are the different components of google collab now you can add any cell just by clicking on this plus code option you can add any text cell in which you can write any text this is code section like this is code section and you can execute this cell by just clicking shift plus enter or control plus enter okay in code section in uh, there are two sections basically two cells one is code cell and another is text cell in text cell we basically write about basically you can say these are like comments or you can say this is specifies what the code is look like like uh, you are writing any code in which there are different parts different functions then you can uh, write uh, in the text cell what the function will be working and how it will work so in code cell we will write python code and in text cell we will write any text we can move uh, up and down in cell by clicking th these two buttons and we will be writing the python code in the code cell now i am going to write a simple print program in the python if you don't understand this don't mind i will be teaching you in the next coming videos lectures so i am just printing hello world This is the first program uh, everyone uh, teaches you in, in, in any uh, tutorial of any programming language. So I am just uh, writing print hello world. To execute this cell, execution means to run this cell, to run this program, this one line program. You can either uh, click shift key plus enter or control key plus enter or you can just click on this run button. First of all, when you are running the, uh, the program for first time in Google Collab, it will take some time to connect to the server and just few seconds to connect to the server. Then after execution will be very fast, you can just click on the run button and the code will run. So wait and see how much time will take. So the execution has been uh, completed. The printing process has been completed. It, uh, the code says print hello world and hello world has been printed. Now to create a new cell, you can either come here and create the code cell or text cell or you can just click here and create a new cell. Now you, uh, I'll, I must say Python works as a calculator. You can calculate anything and you can perform any basic mathematics calculation in Python just by like 2 plus 5 and I am just running it is equals to 7. 
it's very simple you can run any type of code and you can just type any code in python and execute itself now it is very important in google collab that you can run any cell which is anywhere in your program separately like i can run any cell like uh, i'm just inserting a cell here and saying that print 7 plus 4 and i can just run this cell above the the cell which has been executed earlier it doesn't mind each cell has separate each cell is separate you can run any cell anytime it doesn't matter above and below cell has been executed or not so uh, this is very good in um, google collab you can run any cell anytime after working in the google collab uh, you can download your uh, file in, uh, in a notebook form uh, which we can open anytime anywhere to see what you have written the code and execute the so uh, the is cell and uh, any times you want so this was basically about the google collaboratory this was uh, how google collab works and uh, in this google collab i want to say something more about uh, i want to tell you more about google collab in edit section there are so many uh, options undo insert a cell paste copy selection and delete selected cell you can uh, do as like you want it's very very gui you can do anything you want here on three dots you can delete the cell link to cell clear output and when i cl uh, click on clear output the out output will be cleared and you can rerun this cell and see the output so to delete a cell you can just uh, uh, come here and delete the cell or there is shortcut control md and you can delete the cell in tools you have some shortcuts you can create your own shortcuts or you can work with predefined shortcuts there is add a comment to add a comment you can uh, click control alt plus m or to add a form you can create any shortcut like control plus f Con uh, i am clicking control plus f it's creating a shortcut for me control plus f so this is all about google collaboratory I hope you all understand how to work in Google Collaboratory. If you face any problem, just comment in comment box below and I'll solve your problem as soon as possible. So thank you guys. Bye bye.